Hello, Hilltoppers and Pioneers. Um, the School Counseling Directors and Beacon of Hope Future Center Directors wanted to provide an information session on applying for dual enrollment with CVCC. Before we get started with the information session, it's important for you to know who will be presenting this information to you. I am Tracy miller Goo, Director School Counselor of EC Glass Proud Hilltoppers. Hi, I'm Sarada Hester, Counseling Director at Heritage High School, Proud Proud Director of Heritage High Pioneers. Hey, I'm Miss V, and I'm the EC Glass Future Center Director for Lynchburg Beacon of Hope. I'm Dennis Cohen. I'm the Future Center Director at Heritage High School for Lynchburg Beacon of Hope. And I'm Leidra McQueen, and I work with Beacon of Hope on the Office of College Success side. I'm Rachel Madigan, and I also work um, with Beacon of Hope and the Office of College Success, mainly site director at CBCC. Thank you. So for today's session, we are going to give you an overview of the dual enrollment process. First for dual enrollment, uh, dual enrollment courses or programs are programs where students not only, only earn high school credit, they also can earn college credit. So the first process for all dual enrollment courses or programs is that students have to complete their CVCC application. So that is the first step in the program. For other programs such as early college, uh, Central Virginia Gov School, as well as STEM Academy, the first step is students have to apply to CVCC but there is an additional application that students have to fill out for those specific programs. Um, so uh, for the dual enrollment classes and the CTE, these are programs that students can take at their local high schools. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go over the process of what it looks like when students submit or apply for admission to CVCC. So for the dual enrollment programs, we have certain career and technical education uh, programs and classes through Lynchburg City Schools in which students can earn credit towards their diploma requirements as well as college credit. You also have for the Central Virginia Governor School Program where students take certain dual enrollment courses depending on the curriculum that they are taking through Gov School. For dual enrollment, at EC Glads or Heritage High School. These are courses where students do not have to travel. They take classes with teachers that are certified or who are adjunct professors with the community college. For the early college program, this is also dual enrollment. Uh, this is a program students have to apply to. And for this program, if accepted, they will take all of their classes at the community college and the classes are the curriculum was adopted so that students would be satisfying their diploma requirements as well as courses for the general studies program at CVCC. And then for the STEM Academy, this is another opportunity for our students to take classes at uh, CVCC and then they will return to their base school for afternoon courses and take their core classes towards their high school diploma. As I mentioned before, and you will probably hear throughout this presentation, is that all dual enrollment students must apply. If you are applying for a dual enrollment course, we cannot allow you to remain in the class if you have not submitted the admissions requirements to CVCC, which requires that you complete the application. This part of the video, we're going to go step by step through the CVCC application. Um, this video is intended for you to pause it as needed um, and answer any of the questions um, that we're going through. So be sure to reference this video. Feel free to pause um, and we'll help you step by step to complete your CVCC application. So step number one is to go to centralvirginia.edu. When you uh, go to this website, you will be prompted with the screen and you will click apply now at the top of the screen. On the next page, you will click apply now yet again, and then it will take you to the next play page where you will pl hit apply now just one more time. On this screen, you do not yet have a username or password if you have not applied to CVCC yet. So you're going to select create an account. 
Make sure that you are patient on this page as it's loading. Don't refresh the page, just wait um, until it gets you to the next screen. So on this page, you will complete your first and last name as well as a telephone number so that you can receive messages. Make sure when you type in your email that you do not use your LCS email account. Make sure to use a personal email account. If you don't yet have one, just go to Google and create a quick professional email that you'll use to apply to multiple colleges beyond CBCC. On this page, you will create your username and password. Be sure to write down what you have created. Um, you will be using this username and password to complete your CBCC application. So let's say you need to take a moment to pause. Something comes up, your mom calls you, your dad calls you, or you have some homework to finish in the middle of doing this application. You can pause it. You'll use that username and, uh, username and password to log back in and to complete your um, application at a later time. Um, you'll also be prompted with a email validation code. So make sure you go to your personal email that you use to create the account, check that email and then type in that validation code. And then you will click submit and you will officially be able to start the CBCC application. Now that you have created your username and password just for the application in case you need to get back into it, this next section is um, the actual application process. Um, at any time, if you receive an error S message, it could mean that you've already applied or something um, is not quite right. Just go check with your counselor. They can help you out. We can figure out what's going on. So if any time you receive that error message or it says something about you already have an application on file, just go ask your counselor and we'll figure it out. Um, the first step of the application is basically putting your name and um, your personal information. When you are filling out the application, make sure that you are writing your name professionally, which uses a capital letter at the beginning of your name and lowercase letters at the end, um, mainly being that this application is going to follow you throughout your time at CVCC. Um, so it's just a good, it's a good way to start. The next section will ask you for your birthday and social security number. It's extremely important that you put in your social security number. If you don't know it, um, you are free to save and submit what you have or save and go get that social security number. You actually can continue on the application if needed and you can actually come back. Um, the reason being is if you do not put your social security number in the application um, as before you actually submit it to the school, you will have um, a few delays and a couple extra parts of the process in order to become a student at CBCC. So make sure that you do not skip this and you put in your social security number and confirm your social security number. And remember at any time you can save and continue later. This next section is um, just asking some personal information that you can fill out. Please make sure you fill out all of the questions. Next, it's gonna ask you how they can best communicate with you. You're going to input the address that you are currently living at. It will ask you for the same or another mailing address. Um, you're going to input the same mailing address that you just did right before this next question. Um, also, it's going to ask you for your email. Put the personal email that you may have just created that's not your Lynchburg City School email. And the reason being is that um, after you graduate, your email from Lynchburg City Schools will not work. And so we wanna make sure that you're able to be contacted um, at any point after you graduate if needed. Then it's gonna ask you for your telephone number. Please put a current number where CVCC can reach you. Um, this is really important. If it happens to change, um, you will, you know, you can let CVCC know that. Um, but being able to contact you is going to be really important at times. So just make sure you put in a number that is working currently. Um, and again, make sure that you add the correct phone number and select I agree and reviewed um, the guidelines. Save and continue. This next section is just wanting to know a little bit about your education. Right now you are currently a high school student. Um, after you select this, you're going to be asked to enter in your high school. If you go to EC Glass, the easiest thing to do is enter in 
capital G L A S S for glass and it and um, your school will show up and you can highlight and select it. Sometimes it can be tricky. So if you don't see your high school, again, go to a counselor, um, go to your future center and they can help you with that. Heritage is a little bit easier. If you type in heritage, it will come up right away. You select that high school. And it's going to ask you about your completion date and it's going to be May of your graduation year. This last section for this part of the application is going to ask you about your program of study. You um, do not plan to earn a degree or certificate from Central Virginia Community College. So you're gonna answer no. And then um, it will ask you one question and you are going to select dual enrollment and it will prompt you to answer that question. And then it says, um, I plan to start and you're gonna start in the fall of the following school year. And again, press save and continue. And at the very bottom, I'm sorry, you're, it's going to ask you a few questions and you are going to select, I'm taking classes through my high school to receive high school credit and college credit. All right, in this section here, you're asked about military service that you or your parents have. Uh, I'm gonna guess the answer is no for you, but be sure to answer that correctly if you have uh, a parent who has served in the military and then save and continue. And we get into some questions about uh, residency and you're gonna see the word domicile used in there. Before we do that, let's make sure we, um, we address this. Uh, your current status of, of, um, res or of citizenship rather, a uh, native citizen means you've been born here or you were born here and so you receive citizenship that way. If that's not your situation, make sure you select the accurate option in that drop-down box. It, uh, above that, you'll see your parents' highest level of education. And then we get to the domicile question. So domicile is a word that just means where you live, okay, your, your residency. And it's important to get this section correct. If we go to the next slide, you'll see um, some more questions about that. Uh, but this is really important. So if you have questions about your residency, um, I encourage you to just hit save and continue or even pause, find out the answers, whether that means asking a parent guardian, whether that means reaching out to your counselor or your future center director. Um, but if, if you were to answer these questions inaccurately, it's going to be really hard uh, for you to go through the steps to get this changed on the CVCC side. So please make sure these questions are answered correctly. And just so you know, uh, you might see questions other than the four that you see on this slide. This, uh, these questions use skip logic. And so depending on your answer, it might prompt you to a different question than the ones you see. But just as you answer the questions about domicile or residency, make sure you're putting in the accurate information. And we'll hit save and continue. You are almost finished with this step. So you're at the supplemental area and then you can just answer this question about how you heard about CVCC and you just type your answer in there and then you can press submit. So you can type your name at the bottom for a digital signature and then you'll say submit now. And that will be the completion of submitting your CVCC application, though that's not the end of the process. So we're going to walk you through one more step about a, making your active account at CVCC, activating your My CVCC account. It's a better way to say that. And so we want you to do that now and not figuratively now, like literally right now. So go ahead and pause the video, go back to your email, the personal email that you used, and you'll see an activation in that email. And this is time sensitive. So in 24 hours, this link won't work. So that's why we want you to do it right away. You won't forget about it later on today and it will just be completed so you can log back in real easily next time you need to get back into your account. So when you um, complete that step for submitting the application and activating your account, these are the three ways to know that you will have completed the activation by checking your email, clicking the link on the next page from the CVCC application, and then saving that username and that ID number, which is also called an template. So, this is what it will look like. When you press submit, you'll see this box and it scrolls down. There's different steps. 
You'll learn about the parent step um, in the frequently asked questions in a few minutes. But for now, just scroll down and notice how you can see your student account and it gives you your MPLID, which is your CVCC ID, and then your username and password. And so those are super important because those are unique to you and you will have to have this information to log in. So if you save things in your phone or if you save them in an email somewhere on paper, just please write that down because you will need this again throughout your time taking dual enrollment courses. And if you decide to transfer any of those credits onto a four-year college or university, if those courses apply that way. All right, so this is the page where you will log in. It will look similar to this and you just type that username and password in and that's it. So it just takes another minute or so from submitting the CVCC application and then you'll be right where you need to be in order to, to proceed with dual enrollment. All right, and this is just a quick um, view of what the email will look like. It'll look similar to this. And if you save this or put a star, make it a favorite email, you can always refer back to it because it links right to the dual enrollment programs page at CVCC. And it also links you right to the portal to log in for CVCC. So anything you need related to your enrollment there um, for the My CVCC account part of it anyways, can be linked back right through this email. So save on to this and your student ID number and you'll be well on your way to being enrolled for your dual enrollment class. So this is just a quick summary before the frequently asked questions. You should have, if you're using the video, you will have completed the CVCC application and activated your account. Um, be sure to remember step one in completing the program application as well that Mrs. Miller Good referenced earlier in the video. So congratulations, you have made it to this part of the video. Um, and I'm sure you have some questions and if you don't, your parent or guardian may. Um, so we're gonna address some of the frequently asked questions. And if you have any questions beyond what we answer in this video, please feel free to reach out to your counseling directors um, and we will get these uh, questions answered for you. So for the first question, um, specifically relating to the Beacon of Hope Stay Close Go Far scholarship, can it be used to pay for early college? The short answer is no but I want you to know there's a however. You cannot use Stay Close Go Far for early college. However, you can apply uh, for the FAFSA to see if you're eligible for the Pell Grant. And you can also see if there, or you can also look into some of the LCS uh, foundation scholarships that are applicable for early college. Additionally, if you um, get your college, you know, first two years of college credits knocked out through early college, you can still use Stay Close Go Far to either complete your last two years of college or using it towards um, a graduate program. Again, this relates to um, all of our local schools. So um, the University of Lynchburg, Randolph College, Sweetbriar, Central College of Nursing and Liberty University. And so that is the answer uh, for Stay Close Go Far as it applies to early college. Can you share a little about the Commonwealth Scholarship? Our Commonwealth Scholarship applies to any college um, or technical certification program outside of the Lynchburg area, but located within the state of Virginia. So if you're interested in uh, Virginia Tech or JMU um, or Eastern Mennonite University, you would be eligible to apply for our Commonwealth Scholarship. It is competitive um, and we are able to give out five at each high school. So five for Heritage and five for EC Glass. So again, the same goes um, for the Commonwealth as for State Close Go Far. You cannot use it for early college. However, you can use it um, beyond uh, uh, high school um, as you enter either undergraduate or graduate program. So frequently asked question um, number two that we get a lot, how can dual enrollment credits count towards college? Um, we wanna number one, make sure that you understand that you'll need to work with your um, school counselor and also the admissions office to whatever college or universities that you're looking at um, attending for your freshman um, fall year of your freshman year. You want to make sure that how will they accept that um, credit? Will it be based in your major or, um, as a credit or will it be an elective or not at all? Um, so that's the first thing. And then the second piece is at the end of each year, you want to make sure that you have requested for your CVCC transcript to be sent to whatever college or university that you plan to attend. And again, these steps will continue to go over with you guys because it's gonna be 
incredibly important that that CVCC transcript and the hard work that you've done is um, requested so it can be sent to the college or university that you're accepted into. So do I apply to college as a transfer student if I take any dual enrollment classes? It's on the screen and it says it really good. No, you don't. You are an incoming freshman um, with some good weight behind you, but you do not want to apply to college as a transfer student. If I'm under 18 years old, what steps do I need to take for my parent permission? Because I saw it on the screen and it says that I have to have my parental permission. Don't worry, you guys will work with your school counselors and we will make sure that you have that dual enrollment parental permission form provided to you. And that is each year that you're taking a dual enrollment course and under the age of 18. Where do I go for more information about Gov School? early college program or the STEM Academy. We have you covered. Please make sure that you go to your prospective high school, whether it's the Hilltoppers or the Pioneers website on the counseling page, and you can find a very thorough information sheet that also gives you live links and dates for all of those programs in regards to the application process. And if that's not enough, then schedule a Zoom meeting with your school counselors. You will see that all of us use Candidly and you can get a appointment. So that way we can walk you through and make sure that you're secure and that you feel confident in going to any of those programs um, and answering any questions. So we wanna make sure that you know that this is a superb team. This is a great team of Beacon of Hope staff, Future Center directors, college transition staff, and your counseling department that one, two, three, it's easy as that, and that we're here to support you guys through the process. We want to make sure that you go higher and that you push yourself for dual enrollment and have a successful transition for high school to college. So again, from us, Beacon of Hope staff, Counseling Department, Lynchburg City Schools, we wish you well, and you can play this video as much as you need. Take care. <laughs>